In tonight's episode of Doolittle Campers, Thunderbird 2 gives birth to Thunderbird 4, Claire takes us on a shortcut, and we walk across Abbey Road. taking the tandem for a cycle. We yeah. are. We're off to Milton Keynes. So, tandem's Thunderbird 4, this is Thunderbird 2. For any of you guys who watch Thunderbird, you'll know Thunderbird 4 goes inside Thunderbird 2. Anyway, you might know we've got a tandem, you might not. It's quirky, it's weird, it's us, but we're gonna take you for a ride. Come with us. So, of all the places to cycle, you might wonder why we're going to Milton Keynes. I'll let David tell you. So, as a general rule, I absolutely despise Milton Keynes. It is a prefabricated place where everyone who lives there believes they've got the right to be a city. Um, they've got a football league club that they couldn't be bothered to work their way up from grassroots, so they decided to thieve one um, from London. And uh, yeah, just generally, it's an oversized town that a lot of people believe should be a city. But it has one amazing thing going for it and that is the infrastructure for cyclists so it's got red routes all over the uh, town i'm not saying city i can never bring myself to call it a city it is not a city it never will be a city and in actual fact luton's got a bigger population than milton keynes so why anyone would ever claim it's a city and it hasn't got a cathedral and the reason why it hasn't got a cathedral is because it's got no history you might have guessed, I don't really like Milton Keynes, but the red routes. There's good. some good cycle routes, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah, and there's quite a few lakes and, it's flat. and ponds. It's very flat. Yeah, it's, it's just a good place to cycle. cycle around. But don't ever let that ma think make you think that I like Milton Keynes because I do not like Milton Keynes. And we're very sorry for anyone that lives in Milton Keynes. He doesn't speak for both of us. More importantly, the reason I wanted to go around Milton Keynes is because I want to try a smash burger. I've never had a smash burger and there's a smash in Milton Keynes. I work at Milton Keynes and I want to have one every day but I try to resist. But it's the weekend and we're going to earn a smash burger. We will show you. Cycle check. We're about to end up on a bloody hill. Oh, David, that's not happening. It is happening. We'll, we'll, we'll bump it up the, we'll bump it up the grass in a sec. Oh my god! Just. I'm gonna die. No, you're all right. Right. Just slow down and bump up the curve. Right. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. We're jumping up the curve. Going across this major dual carriageway. Um, 
because although Milton Keynes has got lots of cycle tracks, there's no cycle track beneath uh, between Kingston and the other side of the road. So we've got to cross this busy road. Right, after this grey car, I'll run. With sun all year round And pina coladas With pretty faces And sand on the ground I wanna stop this ongoing train Before I lose my mind And go insane I don't wanna sleep every night I want a lot of spark in the dark I don't want to say I'm okay Living the same every day Come run beside me, let's take off Let's leave this place For another place oh. Maybe I'll win Difference. It's hard at this speed to see anything. Hello. Hello. Are you all right? You're quite inqu inquisitive, aren't you? <laughs> David's got scared. I could be scared of you. Look at you. You're beautiful. Now that is the definition of crazy. Someone who gets that close to wild animals just for their YouTube channel. I am way out of the way. Thank you very much. Hello. We've been here for a swim today. Have you had a swim? It's a warm day, isn't it? Hello. So we have ended up at Willen Lake. We have. We and stopped uh, for a rest because David can't handle it. Yeah, my uh, coccyx hurts when we ride too far. <laughs> I wonder what you was going to say. Then. <laughs> no, the the, t uh, the bone at the bottom of my back's not very good. Um, but yeah, we've come to Willan Lake. So Willan Lake is a fantastic place. It's uh, actually hosts, just been on the website, hosts 500 events every year. Now that's more than one per day. That's, that's phenomenal, that's isn't a lot. it? We've actually done a few events here ourselves. We've done Friends Fest. Yeah. I've done a couple of races. We've also done uh, the Colour Dash where we've got covered in yeah. paint. And we've done the Santa Fun Run. Santa well. fun so run. run for a mile with just the Santa. So <laughs> I'd just like to say I've run twice in my whole life. Um, I ran for the Colour Dash, which was great fun, and I ran for the Santa Run. Yeah, um, which was just a mile. But with my dodgy ankle, my dodgy back, I don't think I'll be doing any running ever again. No. Um, but the what other things. Got? Yeah, go on. So other things you've got here is you've got the treetop assault course. Yep. Um, you've got a splash That's on my and list play to do, for the that kids. Is. So on Claire's list, I will actually do that with her because yeah, I've not got a problem with heights. Um, so we'll do a vlog on that. You've got the splash and play, which I'd love to do, but it's for kids only. So yeah, I'm not allowed there. Um, and got water sports, haven't they? Yeah, you've got you like ramps, ramps and, and jumps and all sorts. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, it's a high of activity in the summer at this place. Yeah, and do you know what? Will and Lakes are one of those places where if you come here and it's not sunny, it's a bit like, I don't know, it doesn't thrill you, but when you come and the sky's blue and the water's blue, it yeah, just looks lovely. like such a lovely place. So Milton Keynes has got something else going for it then, Mick? No, I do agree, it's got lakes, but I kind of encompass that in the whole cycling thing because <laughs> the uh, red routes go around the lakes. But yeah, you're not forgiven yet. You are prefabricated <laughs> and there is a self, there's, there is a sense of self-entitlement from the people of Milton Again, we're sorry, he doesn't speak for both of us. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's good for lakes and it's good for bike rides.
Okay, so I've come back with the coffees. I've been faffing around a little bit trying to get a thumbnail. Um, and Claire's drunk her coffee in the time they took me to get a thumbnail. What was it like? It was lovely, yeah. You wait till yours is cold anyway. Yeah, I don't like it when it's hot coffee. I don't want coffee burning in the back of my throat. <laughs> it's I... coffee coffee, so it's, not always... it's never that hot when it's coffee. Ah, oh, okay. Right, I'll try it and see what I think. It's coffee, it's not hot chocolate. If you know, you know. Yeah, it's good, but not very vanilla-y, which is what it was supposed to be. But it's good. We got nothing but time. Lean back, let me rub you back. Honey, just relax. Smash Burger is almost like an American diner. It's got a very exciting menu as well, and it ticks all the boxes for me. Claire, rather predictably, had a burger. David, weirdly, had a plate of potatoes. But he certainly enjoyed his milkshake. And I got to see Claire's sexy burger face. So Claire, you've just been to Smash Burger for lunch. I have. How do you feel now that you've had your Smash Virginity taken? <laughs> well, my first Smash experience was amazing. I'm going to beat that. I think it was smashing. Smashing. Smashed it. You smashed it, Smash. <laughs> So, can I just say, the milkshake was the best milkshake I have ever tasted in my life. Um, so that was really I good. I tried a little bit, I'll agree, that was quite yeah. nice. And I'm not a big milk, milkshake fan, but it was nice. And uh, the potatoes were nice as well. Potato tops or something, loaded potato yeah. tops. Yeah, I, I couldn't think of stomach in the burger because we had quite a heavy breakfast. Obviously Claire managed a burger. I've always got room for a burger. Um, but I'll tell you the other thing, Ricky, the manager, he came over twice and he was yeah. talking to us, uh, he was telling us all about the company. It's really good because everything they make comes from a fresh delivery every day. Mm -hmm. So they don't even store a lot of the food. It's literally delivered daily. Yeah. So really they're good. So passionate <clears throat> about their food, about their about their services. Really, really good food. Lovely uh, decor place. Um, yeah. yeah, absolutely loved it. So really, really nice. If you happen to be in Milton Keynes, um, because you, like yeah, you were desperate and you didn't have anywhere else to go, and you ended up in Milton Keynes, because <laughs> uh, Milton Keynes is all prefabricated and horrible. Oh, stop it, David. Um, make sure you get yourself to Smash Burger. Get yourself to Smash. You won't regret it. It is really, really good food. Really nice service. Everyone was so friendly in there. Massively shouting out to MK Smash. No, really good. Well done guys. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed our little cycle. Yeah. And I uh, hope you've enjoyed Milton Keynes, because I certainly didn't. <laughs> anyway, we shall see you soon. <laughs>